Hello and welcome to math class. This week our learning target is I can tell time in hours and half hours using analog and digital clocks. Before we get too far in our lesson today, I thought it might be helpful if we actually took a minute to review um, some of the important words that we'll be using, making sure that we all know actually what we're talking about when we're using these words. The first word I want to use today is the word day. A day um, is the from sunup to sundown and it's actually 24 hours. We divide the day into two parts and each of those parts are 12 hours long. So 12 plus 12 is 24. The first part of the day that we divide the day into is called the AM when you see it on the clock. It just means morning. And there's 12 hours in the AM. Uh, the, the hour hand will go around the clock from 12 o'clock all the way back around in the morning. PM means the afternoon or the evening. And this is when we go around the clock a second time for another 12 hours from 12 o'clock all the way around again until 12 o'clock. So we do that twice every day, a.m. and p.m. An hour is 60 minutes long, and a minute is 60 seconds long. So just to get a sense of what a minute and an hour are, let's do something fun for 60 seconds. I've got my timer ready. It's on 60 seconds. So we're going to move for one minute. Are you ready? Go. So just march in place for a minute. Maybe we'll switch it up. You can do anything you want. Uh, maybe dance. A little disco. That was not so good. A little twist. Back to marching. How we doing? Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. That's one minute. There are 60 of those in every hour. Woo, okay, well that was fun. So let's get back to telling time on the clock now that we know what uh, hours and minutes are. You're gonna need your clock that we made yesterday. If you didn't make a clock, um, I put a different clock in the resources today that is already numbered. You just have to cut out the minute hand and the hour hand. You'll need your clock, your minute hand, and your hour hand. All right. There's two things we have to do when we tell time. Two steps. Step one, we look at the hour hand. It's the small hand. And we're going to look at the last number the small hand passed. Then step two, we look at the minute hand. The minute hand is the big hand. We always start at the top at 12 and we're gonna practice counting around by fives. So the first thing we'll do, let's start with just our hour hand. So get your clock ready. We're gonna not move the minute hand at first, so we're gonna put our minute hand, which is the longer hand, pointing all the way up to the 12. And we'll have it stay there. When the minute hand is pointing to the 12, we say that it is o'clock whatever it, we're gonna do around the clock we're gonna go o'clock so when the hour hand moves and we go from hour to hour and it's pointing directly at a number and the minute hand is pointing straight up 
we say this is one o'clock. If it's pointing directly at two, now we say two o'clock. Three o'clock. What do you think we say now? Four o'clock, you're right. Keep going. And back to 12 o'clock, okay? But uh, we know that the clock never really looks like that for very long because the minute hand, every 60 seconds, it makes a tick. 60 seconds, 60 seconds, one minute, one minute. We did our movement and our dancing for one minute. So you'll know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. If you did that for six, 60 times, it would be an hour. Now, funny thing happens to the hour hand as the minute hand begins to move. When the minute hand ticks around, the hour hand slowly moves from the lower number, the two, to the next number, the three, as the minute hand comes around. So you'll notice that. When the minute hand is moving around, we could count every minute from one to 60, but it's faster if we count by fives. So let's count our minutes, practice going around counting by fives. Every time it hits a number, that's five minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, back to 60, or we say o'clock. Okay. Now, Let's practice. What if it's three o'clock and I spend some time in three o'clock walking my dog and I walk my dog for half an hour. We have to move half the circle. Here's my circle. Here's half of my circle. So half of an hour is when the minute hand is pointing on the six. That means we're halfway around the hour. Let's see how many minutes are in half an hour. Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There are 30 minutes in half an hour. And you'll notice that the hour hand doesn't point to any number exactly but it sits halfway in between. So when we tell time, this is where we have to come back and remember our steps. First, look at the hour hand. It's the small hand and you look at the last number that the hour hand passed, or you look at the smaller number. It was three o'clock when I started walking my dog. And I walked my dog for half an hour. It's not four o'clock yet. If I kept walking my dog for another half an hour, then it would be four o'clock. All right, let's pretend I'm gonna keep walking my dog for some more time. We'll count by fives. We're already at, what did we say? 30, 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's keep going. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 minutes. Now we're at four o'clock because I walked my dog for a whole hour. All right, let's practice. I'm gonna tell you a time and you're gonna see if you can put the hour hand and the minute hand in the correct place. Remember, do the hour hand first and then the minute hand. All right, here we go. Show me seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Hour hand first, pointing at the seven. Anytime we say o'clock, the minute hand points straight up at the 12. Good job. How about half past four? Hmm, half past four. Do the hour hand first. Oh, I know you said four, so I'll stick it there first. Half past four. So that's half my circle. I'm gonna put my minute hand here. But remember, you have to put your hour hand halfway past the four. We're halfway in our hour, half past four. How about 2.30? 2.30, all right, hour hand first. Then your minute hand, two, 30. Okay, but what do I need to do? Make sure my hour hand is halfway in between. Good, let's do 10 o'clock. Hour hand first, 10 o'clock. Pointing to the 10, and O clocks are easy. Straight up to the 12. All right, that's it. Today we're just practicing learning how to tell time in hours and half hours using our analog clock. Attached to today's lesson are some additional clocks that you can look at and um, either tell the time or show the time that they say on your clock. I hope you have fun with your clocks. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.